Michelle wants to know the details. She's seeking answers. Talk me through the day that you, you killed her mom. I mean, I don't know that it started off any different than any other day. Well, we got into a big argument, and it pursued into a big fight, and I choked her. I don't know how much more macabre you want to get than that. It's not me wanting to know everything. It's, it's your daughter. You know what I mean? I don't know. I can't remember every single little thing. I mean, I killed her. I don't know what you want me to say. I want you to say the truth and step by step what you did to her that day, from the living room to the bathroom to the drum. I don't exactly remember. I think you do. I think I don't. Why is it so hard to tell me? I don't know, prosecutor. <laughs> can you please just tell me in in as much detail as you can and tell tell this for the sake of Michelle's uh, wanting to know this? Just say it. All right, I killed her. I dug her to the bathtub. She was dead for sure. I took her and put her in the drum, put the lid on the drum, put the band on the drum, and bolted it down tight. I have a memory of when I do believe was the last time she was alive. It would have been the day that I was asked to stay out of the house on the swing set. I would like my dad to enlighten me if that was the day, because that, that would be critical for my own mental health to be able to move forward from that. She went outside and she sat on the swing set. Is that the day that you killed her mother? No. How can you be sure? Because when I killed her mother, she was staying with friends and had been for several days. I do think that I may have seen my mom at one point in a memory that blocked itself out until after she was found. My dad had pulled the barrel out of my way to give me room to walk through the garage. On my way past the barrel, I believe I did note my mom's body in there. I saw hair, what looked like hair and flesh sitting just, a, just beneath the top of the barrel. 